Hi all, in this video I am going to explain how to plot the root locus for the given open loop transfer function. Problem 1. The forward path transfer function of the unity feedback system is given by g of s is equal to s into s a divided by s into s plus 4 into s plus 5. Catch the root locus as k varies from 0 to infinity. What is the step number 1? Find the open loop poles and zeros. Once again I am going to write the open loop transfer function. g of s is equal to k divided by s into s plus 4 into s plus 5. That is equal to n of s divided by d of s. What is n of s? n of s is the numerator polynomial. d of s is the denominator polynomial. n of s is equal to k and d of s is equal to s into s plus 4 into s plus 5. There is no s term in the numerator polynomial. There is no zero available in the transfer function. But denominator polynomial consists of s term. So poles are available in this equation s equal to 0, s plus 4 equal to 0, that is s is equal to minus 4, then s plus 5 equal to 0, that gives s is equal to minus 5. Now I am going to mark the poles in the plot. Here 0 and next is minus 4 and the third one is minus 5. Next, I am going to explain step number 2. Existence of root locus in real axis. A point on real axis lie on the root locus. If the sum of poles and zeros on the real axis to the right of the point is odd number, then only the root locus exists. Once again, I have to draw the, I have to plot the poles. Minus 4 and minus 5. See, consider one point P1. Right of this point, how many poles are there? There are number of poles, 3 is there. So, root locus exists in this point. And next, consider another one point P2. To the right of P2, how many poles are there? Two number, that is even number. There is no pole in this point. Sorry, there is no root locus in this point. And next, I am going to consider a point P3 here. To the right of this point P3, only one pole exists. This is odd number. There may be a root locus region. So root locus exists between 0 and minus 4 and next minus 5 to infinity root locus exists. Next step number 3. In a step number 3, find the number of branches in the root locus. How to find out the number of branches in the root locus? There are three conditions are there to find out the number of branches. The condition number one, number of poles equal to number of zeros. How many number of branches exist? That is equal to number of poles equal to number of zeros. Number of poles that is greater than is it? So how many branches exist? Number of branches equal to P. And next, number of poles is less than is it? How many branches exist? That is, number of branches are equal to number of zeros. In, in this problem, there are three numbers of poles and no zeros. Zeros are, there is no zeros. So, how many branches in the root locus? That is, three. Three branches are originated from open loop poles when k is equal to zero. And n set k is equal to infinity. Okay. 
Once again, I have to plot the 0, minus 4, minus 5. The root locus x is here. Phi is terminated to minus infinity. Oh, sorry, phi is terminated to k is equal to infinity. Always the branches start from open loopholes and ends at infinity. And there may be another one root locus between 0 and minus 4. It is divided into two parts. So two branches. Branch number 1, branch number 2. There are three branches exist. And next, step number 4. Two branches. I am going to find out the asymptotes here. Two branches that terminates at infinity do so along the asymptotes whose angles are. One of the branches terminated to infinity. That is over. But two branches that is between 0 to minus 4. So that is along with the asymptote. So I am going to find out the asymptote angle here. The equation is 2q plus 1 divided by n minus m into 190. The q value is, the end of the q is 2. So 0, 1, 2. That is given by n minus m minus 1. And next, I am going to find out phi 1, phi 2 and phi 3 according to the value of q is equal to 0, q is equal to 1 and q is equal to 2. For q is equal to 0, phi 1 equal to 2 into 0 plus 1 by 3 that is 60 degree. q is equal to 1, phi 2 equal to 2 into 1 plus 1 by 3 into 190, 190 degree. Phi 3 is 2 into 2 plus 1 by 3 into 190 that is 300 degree. And next step number 5. Asymptotes that meets at the point is known as centroid. So asymptote angle that hit one point. How to calculate the centroid? The equation is summation of all the poles minus summation of all the zeros divided by number of poles minus number of zeros. There are three poles values 0, minus 4, minus 5. So 0, minus 4, minus 5, again 0, minus 0, divided by number of poles 3, number of 0, 0. So minus 9 by 3, that is minus 3, that is the centroid. Once again, I have to mark this 0. Here, minus 4, minus 5. The centroid is minus 3. And have to draw the asymptote angle here. That is 60 angle. Asymptote angle is 60. And next angle is 190. And the third angle is 300. In this way, I have to mark sorry, 300. And next, step number 6. Find the breakaway point. If the root locus lie between two adjacent open loopholes on the real axis, that is 0 and minus 4, then there will be at least one breakaway point because the roots move towards each other as k is increased and meet at the point. At this point, k is maximum. If we increase the value k between two poles, the root locus breaks into two parts. Okay, here I have to mark 0, next pole minus 4, then minus 5. Here, minus, sorry, minus 3 is a centroid and then centroid, the angle of asymptote is 60. Already we have seen. And then minus 4 to minus 0, there may be a root locus branch. Both the branches are, both the roots are moved towards each other and it meets one point. That point is known as breakaway point. Between two adjacent poles, we are having one breakaway point. The next I am going to find out the breakaway point. 
That is step number 7. Calculation of breakaway point. First of all, I am going to write the characteristic equation. That is 1 plus g of s into h of s equal to 0. h of s equal to 0 for the unity feedback system. 1 plus k by s into s plus 4 into s plus 5 equal to 0. Have to expand this. So, s into s square plus 9s plus 20. Have to multiply inside. So, s cube plus 9s square plus 20s plus k equal to 0. From this, what is k? k is equal to minus of s cube plus 9s square plus 20s. Then find out dk by ds. That is minus of 3s square plus 18s plus 20. Then 3s square plus 18s plus 20 equal to 0. Then I have to find out the roots. So minus 18, the formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2e. Then find out the roots s1 and s2. That is minus 1.4725, another one is minus 4.5275. Since minus 4 to 5 is not in the segment of root locus. Already we have seen. So minus 1.4725 is the breakaway point. This is not a breakaway point. This is not in a root locus section. Okay, next. I am going to calculate the here. I am going to mark the breakaway point. So 0, minus 4, minus 5, then centroid, minus 3, asymptote, the angle 60, here 60, and then minus 1.4725. Okay, next, this breakaway point that intersect with the imaginary axis. Next step, I am going to find out what is the intersection value in an imaginary axis. That is step number 7, determination of point of intersection branches and root locus with the imaginary axis by R H criterion. The characteristic equation is already we have derived s cube plus 9s square plus 20s plus k equal to 0. Have to apply the R H criterion. s cube, s square, s, s power 0. So s cube value, then you have to write this coefficient of s 20, then s square coefficient first write, then s power 0 coefficient. Have to apply here 9 into 20, 190 minus k by 9. And here k. So, see here, find out the value of k. So, how to find out 190 minus k by 9 equal to 0, k is equal to 190. If we substitute k is equal to 190, so this value completely 0. So, 0 means how to find out the root, uh, root criterion. So, the previous one, rho is considered as the axillary equation. So, axillary equation 9 square plus k equal to 0. Here substitute the value of k. 9 square plus 190 equal to 0. So s square equal to minus 20. S is equal to plus or minus 4.47. Next I am going to explain how to draw the root locus plot in an ordinary graph. The g of s is given as k divided by s into s plus 4 in the s plus 5. First of all, I am going to mark the poles. 0, minus 4, then minus 5. After marking the pole, have to mark the centroid. The centroid given as minus 3. Then I have to mark the asymptote angle. Asymptote angle is plus or minus 60, then 190, then 360. Have to use 60 angle, the first angle. Next, I am going to find out the breakaway point. I got the breakaway point as minus 1.4725. So, this is the breakaway point I have to mark here. So this is the breakaway point. 
after marking the breakaway point i am going to find out the intersection of breakaway point in the imaginary axis that is minus j plus or minus j 4.47 here i have to mark the value 4.47 here 4.47 next what i have to do I have to join this with the breakaway point okay this is the curve obtained so this is the one of the root locus part that is branch 1 this is the root locus branch 2 k is equal to infinity this is root locus branch 3 k is equal to infinity it is starting from this point here minus 4 to 3 here this is the when we increase the gain the roots also adjacent with each other move and then it is terminated in the infinity in k is equal to infinity okay this is the way to draw the root locus thank you have a nice day